Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to solve stepped bar using ANSYS. Figure shows the stepped bar having two elements. First element has the angst modulus 2 exponential 5 Newton per mm square, area 900 mm square and the length 600 mm. Second element has the angst modulus 0.7 exponential 5 Newton per mm square, area 600 mm square and length 500 mm. Axial load of 500 Newton is acting in positive x direction at key point 3. Now let us learn how to solve this using ANSYS. Click on mechanical APDL icon, you will get this window open, select preferences, select structural, H method, click OK. Go to preprocessor, select element type, click on add, click add, select link, 3D finite STN, click OK. Close this tab. Select real constants, select add, select add again click OK. First real constant set number 1 and area should be given 900 mm square. Click apply. Now the second element area is 600 mm square. Select real constant set number 2 and give the area 600 mm square. Now click OK. Close this. Now go to material properties. Select material models. Select structural linear, elastic, isotropic, first elements Engs modulus is 2 exponential 5, 2 exponential 5 and Poisson's ratio is 0.27. Click OK. Now we have the second element and it has different Engs modulus. So select material again, new model, select OK and again select isotropic here and give the second element Sings modulus 0 0.7 exponential 5 and Poisson's ratio 0 0.27. Click OK. Close this. Now go to modeling, select create key points in active CS. First key point should be created at origin 0, 0, 0. Click apply. Second key point should be created at 600 mm. 0, 0, click apply. Third key point should be created at 1100 mm. Click OK. Now select lines, lines, straight line from key point 1 to key point 2, key point 2 to key point 3, click OK. Now the modeling is done, we have to mesh this. Go to meshing, select mesh attribute. Picked lines for first element we should assign the material property as first material and real constant set number 1 and click OK. Again select picked lines, select the second line now, click OK. Now give the material number 2, real constant set number 2 and click OK. Now go to size controls, manual size, lines picked lines, select both the line and give the number of element divisions 50, click OK. Now go to mesh tool, select mesh, select both the lines and click OK. Now the model has meshed. We can apply the loads now. Go to loads, select define loads, select apply, structural, displacement, on key point. First key point is fixed in all degrees of freedom. Select the first key point and click OK. Now select all DOF and click OK. Now we have fixed the first key point and the load is acting in the third key point. So select force here on key point, on third key point, click OK. Give the force 500 Newton and click OK now. Now the loading has done. Go to solutions. Select solve, current LS, click OK. Now the solution is done, we can get the results now. Close this. Go to general post processor, select element table, define table, click add, scroll this down and select by sequence number, select LS, click here 1 and click OK. Close this. 
and now go to plot results, contour plot, nodal solution, DOF solution, displacement vector sum, click OK. So this is the displacement 0 0.0076 mm and if you want to see the stress go to element table, select S average here and click OK. 0.555 Newton per mm square and 0.833 Newton per mm square is the stress generated. If you want to see this in three dimensional view, select isotropic here. This is the isotropic view, select this and go to plot control, select style, size and shape, display of elements on, click OK. If you want to animate this, go to plot controls again, select animate deformed shape, select deformed plus undeformed, click OK. If you want to see the deformation in forward direction only, select forward only. Now you can see the deformation in 10 steps in forward direction. Thank you for watching video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.